Okay, so we have uh, the four bow distribution exercises. Uh, can you show us the first one? the tip, which part of the arm is working? Lower part of the arm. Great. And when you get to the frog? Upper part of the arm. Great. Okay. Go ahead. Use really the full bow. sure that the long bow doesn't make any crescendo or decrescendo, that's the same sound. So it's, we're just trying to control it all the same, you know, the sound here, the sound of the whole bow, the sound here, the sound of the whole bow and the other bow, okay? Good. Do the second one. Same idea though with the long bow, and just make sure the pulse proportion is right between the sixteenth notes and the quarter note. So your tempo. This would be the A thing, yeah. Good. Let's go to the third one. really an even triplet, so it's not going da, 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 or anything like that, you know, that you're really having the rhythm precise, okay? So what do you have to do with the bow to make this work? You're doing pretty well with it, but what do you have to do to, on this one? Use more bow on the up bow so that it brings you back to the frog. Great, okay. Um, so um, you want to get all the way back to the frog to the same place that you're starting. That's good. And then um, you also don't want to go out too far because the further out you go, the more you have to come back, right? So what kind of contact point basically on this? Low. Kind of a low contact point, yeah. And which part of the arm brings you back to the frog each time on the up bows? Upper. Yeah, upper arm. The upper arm is what's bringing you back. Okay, one more time. So you can even say it on the down bow, triple, 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 and really try to triple, try to say it, say it, say it once, triple, triple, yeah. So you say triple, so you don't go triple or anything, triple. Can you play it and say it? So it's down, up, up, down. Very active up, up. So it's that little 
circle that comes back. Why are we doing that little circle to come back? So we have more bow for the short note again. So you go down, up, and then you come back a little so you have more note, more bow. Ba bum, down, up, up, down. exaggerating, but you don't have enough bow then, right? There's an involvement of the wrist. So you go up, and there's a little circle that happens to the upper arm, but there's, if you're loose here, it'll be a little circle that happens with the wrist too. So it's up, up, down, just two in the air. Up, up, down. Up, up, down. Up, up, down. And pretend like you're going on the string before the up, down. So it's up, up, oh sorry, down, up, up, down. Up, on the string, down, up, down. Up, up, down. Up, say it. Up, up, down, and active with your upper arm. Up, down. Up, up, down. Up, up, down. Right. So this is another one of those things with that P word. Pro, pro, perception. That's it. That's great. Pro, prio, perception. Yeah, that you understand how the arm is working, even without the bow. Okay, so now... at the end of the foyer, um, at the bottom of the page, actually, there's going to be a lot of stuff which involves the upper arm and the wrist, okay, when we get there, okay, you'll see. Okay.